Hi, this is Kent Vaughn with Blaze Performance Solutions. In this video today, I'm going to talk about remaining relevant as an organization. Not just profitable, but relevant. And to introduce that, I'm going to tell you a story that if you've been to one of our sessions about execution, you've heard before, but it's about a Blockbuster, a video rental giant in the 90s and early 2000s, and Netflix, and also ran for many years. So let me tell you about Blockbuster. You, if you've been around for 30 or 40 years, you remember on Friday nights or other nights of the week going to Blockbuster to rent a VHS tape or a DVD to watch a movie. In this modern day and age of, of streaming, people don't even really know what that is in some cases. But we used to go to the movie uh, to the get a movie at Blockbuster pretty regularly. Wayne Huizenga sold Blockbuster in 1994 to Viacom for $8.4 billion, a tremendous sum of money, and they were very profitable for the next several years. Now here's something that happened almost as a, a happenstance, and that is in 1997, Blockbuster was making more than $200 million a year in their revenues from late fees. Yes, a huge part of their revenue model was late fees. There's a guy named Reed Hastings who got charged $40 for returning the movie Apollo 13 late. He was furious and thought there had to be a better way. And he began a little company's garage called Netflix, 1997. Now, Netflix, like every organization, including our own, for the first two or three years, kind of struggled financially. They were trying to make things work, and uh, Blockbuster was trying to get into some online uh, streaming and other things, and so in the year 2000, Reed Hastings, three years after starting Netflix, flew to Dallas to meet with the executive team for Blockbuster and said, hey, we're already starting to do some of this streaming stuff. We're great at delivering DVDs. Why don't you let us start running your online part of the business, and you run your stores. You're great at bricks and mortar. They had thousands of stores and millions of clients. And we'll sell, our, sell ourselves to you, Netflix, for $50 million. Well, the executive team at Blockbuster laughed them out the, uh, of the offices, said, hey, we know what we're doing. We don't need your help, blah, blah, blah. Well, the world changed pretty substantially over the next few years, and Blockbuster tried to do a better job online and with streaming, et cetera, but it was too little, too late, and Netflix and Redbox were crushing them. Well, fast forward today, it's now 2019, and uh, there is one Blockbuster store left in the world, somewhere in the Midwest United States, I believe, one out of all of those thousands of stores, and they don't exist for all intents and purposes as an organization. And the market cap for Netflix today, today, February of 2019, is over $180 billion. Now, if you're the executive team from Blockbuster who laughed Reed Hastings out of his, their offices 19 years ago, I bet you're wishing you could reconsider that choice. As you look at the world around you and as you look at what you're doing as an organization, you've got to remain relevant. Your goals to grow are essential. Your goals to improve revenue are essential. But are you remaining relevant in the world or is the world changing under your feet? As I wrap up this video, I'm reminded of a quote by Alvin Toffler who said, The illiterate of the 21st century will, be, will not be those who cannot read and write. The illiterate of the 21st century will be those who cannot learn unlearn and relearn. In your business, in your job, in your industry, please always be mindful of what do we need to unlearn today and relearn tomorrow to remain relevant in our goals and as an organization so we are not the proverbial blockbusters of the world. I'm not trying to um, be particularly mean or ugly to blockbuster. That has happened over and over again in lots of different ways. No organization has a right to exist. The reason we have a right to exist is because we're serving the needs of our customers, our clients, our communities, etc. And I would ask you as leaders to stay focused on that. Some of the very best ideas will come from the people on the front lines of your organization about what, what are they doing, how are they meeting customers, patients, and clients' needs, and what are, what's going on, how, how is that service being rendered. Well, good luck to you. It's an exciting time to be in business. The world is moving. There's always shifts going on, but it also means that there are tremendous opportunities for each one of us. Have a great day and good luck to you this year. Again, this is Kent Vaughn with Blaze Performance Solutions.